Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So in the last episode, I demonstrated how to turn on the Net Zero Cloud in your org. Um, we briefly touched upon the permission set license as well, right? Um, so today what I'm gonna do, do, I'll talk about a little bit about the data set, why data set is important. So uh, what I do, um, so I'll go to the setup here using this gear cog icon, go to setup, um under setup i will look for net zero and we have something called load reference data okay so now what happens is that right uh, usually salesforce offers you data set right different data so you can see right and this is important because obviously using net zero cloud to make a business uh, decision around your business carbon uh, emission or or energy use or you know obviously you need a, you need to compare it with something right and to compare it you need to have a data set from a government agencies so Salesforce do provide you with this, those information uh, so if you come here like load data set you can see um, it contains a lot of data uh, data set information like building energy intensity so um, you can go through each one. It will give you information like, for instance, building energy intensity. Uh, it loads commercial building energy consumption survey. So you get this from this CBECS, right? That includes building energy intensity and building energy value, intensity value. That is used in building energy intensity calculation. So to calculate the intensity calculation, you need to have the reference right and you can use this data set now uh that's that's all good right and as you can see that this data set is up to date because we don't have any option called new version or upload okay all right that's cool and then we have something called procurement which you know talks about um uh it it, it loads the reference data to convert amount uh spend amounts in procurement data to carbon emissions in tons of carbon dioxide equivalent okay and then we have all travel emission factors you usually talk, uh, spoke about uh, scope 3 right so that's one of the reasons why I mentioned about different scopes right scope 1 scope 2 scope 3 and I didn't mention if you remember that uh, scopes will be the, the concept of scope right will be more often discussed when we deal with different aspects within the net zero cloud so as you can see that air travel emission factors is talking about the spoke three. Now this data set is new. I don't have a updated version of the data set. That's why you can see that uh, I have an option called load a new data set version, right? Um, so obviously it's, it's important to keep your data set up to date to give uh, the business user the real time or the accurate information about the energy consumption or other stuff they're trying to measure. Yeah, then you have something about the inflation rate here, which is pretty cool, um, which loads rate to inflate or deflate emission factors to enable use of procurement emission factors set across multiple years, right? So that's in general about the inflation rate, which is great, right? Then we have a hotel stay uh, emission factors, ground travel emission factors, um, you can go through it if you like. So I just wanted to show you that, you know, how you can uh, update your data set because sometimes your data set might be uh, old. So just load all, all data set version. You come here and click it. Data loading process can take some time. So, you know, it will take some time. So now uh, how do you make sure that, you know, all this data is up to date? So what you can do, uh, you can go to Net Zero Cloud app. And under Net Zero Cloud app, you can you know scroll down here. You can see ah, oh, come on. You can see all these options here. You know, uh, vehicle as a carbon footprint, base footprint, all of the data set I mentioned. It's all there. Uh, let's look at the scope three carbon footprint. So let me see if we got anything. All scope three. We got some data here. So you can use this reference data to. Uh, you can play around with it and just see how it goes, right? Let's let's take an example of uh, the uh, this one, business travel. 
Okay, so you can see that um, all this stuff here, right? Uh, information about the reporting year, start date, end date, right? And and this, right? I was thinking, oh, that's my name. <laughs> I think I didn't travel anywhere, <laughs> but then I realized, oh yeah, it's the data set. I'm the owner. So for a second, I thought, oh, did they, did they record my information, right? I don't own a chatter plane. Though I wish to own one, like eight seater plane, I was talking to uh, with my partner the other day, you know, to get a uh, flying license uh, because I wanted to own a plane. That's for sure, because you know my kids are growing up, so I wanted to take them across the country. So we'll see, right? Because now I know that if you're talking about the carbon footprint, they're gonna make a fuss. Hey, you talk about the carbon, climate change stuff. You you owning a private plane? Well. When you can afford it, why not, right? But the thing is, I just wanted to wait and see, right? I mean, are they going to come with electric planes, which are a little bit interesting, uh, maybe for a short distance with it inside New Zealand? Yeah, we'll see. Um, you know, I remember that, you know, my grandfather, uh, grandmother, um, you know, my grandmother, she came from Middle East. Uh, we were Ben Israeli uh, Jews, so... Um, she used to tell me, right, you know, one day, if you ever plan, or plan to own an airplane, just make sure that you get yourself skilled. Because my, my grandmother, she, she used to love to travel a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, I wish if she'd been alive, I would have told her, hey, I'm going to get you on you know, a seater plane. All right, sorry, I digress. Um, so, we're talking a little bit. So, this is one of the, uh, the stuff, at the, you know, the the business travel, um, the carbon footprint. So you can look at, um, let's say, mm, inflation rates, right? So you can keep, look at the information. So you can see what's the inflation layer rate looks like based on CPI change kind of stuff, right? So there's a different data set. Um, you know, you can make it a use. So I, that's all I wanted to demonstrate in general, right? How you can... Uh, load the uh, latest data set kind of stuff. So, so that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. Adios.